Well, this week we're in Lake Conroe, Texas, and we're hanging out with Scott and Allison from Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. Um, we happen to be crossing paths here at the Thousand Trails, and uh, we know we've known you guys for a long time. Feels like we've known YouTube, you for a very long time. <laughs> finally, getting to meet. Uh, so tell us a little bit about you guys' channel. All right. Well, uh, we started uh, in Okinawa with the process of buying our RV. And uh, obviously it wasn't happening because they don't have them over there. Yeah. So, so you, you can watch us from uh, when the process actually started and we decided to go full time all the way to moving back here and finally getting into the RV. And now we've been full timing for a little over four months now. Yeah. Very cool. So, and Jarhead much. because of the Marines? Jarhead yeah. because I was in the Marine Corps a little and over nine because years. because of, and, uh, yeah, I don't well, know. Because that's, that's her name, that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So we're going to go out and explore Lake Conroe. Yes. Well, today we're at the Texas Prison Museum in, um, where the hell are we at? Hunts <laughs> Huntsville, Texas. Huntsville, Texas. <laughs> Beautiful day today. It is gorgeous today. Yeah, so Great we're going to go, to go uh, see some prison stuff. <laughs> yeah, so since it's so nice outside, we're going to go inside. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Um, we have some friends who have, who have come here before, so we kind of know what to expect a little bit. A little bit. Uh, but there's always going to be some surprises and some things that we don't know what's in there. And we brought some friends that have never been, so it's new to all of us. Yeah, it's crazy because they're from Texas. And lived here their whole life. Know it and never been here. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. New to yeah. everybody. Yeah, it's going to be yeah, great. So we'll take you inside and we'll see what we can find in the uh, Texas Prison Museum. Sweet. Well, now we're in the um, uh, rodeo section because they used to have rodeo at the prison. Yeah, all the way to 86, which I found interesting. Yeah, it started way back in 1930s, and uh, I guess it's good cheap entertainment. I mean, yeah. because, I mean, prisoners, they want something to do, and people yeah. want entertainment, so they don't have to really pay the cowboys. Yeah. You know, some uh, locals brought over the livestock to use in mm -hmm. the rodeos. They br they bring in, like, some big-name entertainment, too. Oh, my God, I had no idea. Yeah, there was folks over here, you know. Uh, yeah. You got Willie. Oh, Willie, of course. Of course, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta Lynn, yeah. Dolly Parton, George Strait, yeah. Reba, um, Minnie Pearl. Tammy Winnett, George Tammy Jones. Tammy Winnett, George Jones. Yeah. It's insane. So very cool. Um, yeah. Willie had to leave his stuff in the coach before he came in to do the show at the rodeo, though. Yeah. You know? The little puff puff. Because you, know you know how Willie do. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know what Willie do. <laughs> yeah, he looks young in the photo too. He does. We'll it's show it so to you. Crazy. It's funny. <laughs> You ever seen a murder weapon? I uh, have now. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think that I had ever seen a murder weapon until now. Yeah. But there's a knife in here. It was a, a kitchen knife in the uh, prison. Mm -hmm. And one of the inmates took it and stabbed one of the uh, guards to death. Mm -hmm. Female guard uh, yeah. stabbed her to death. And then they have it in here in a little evidence bag yeah. um, that was used in a trial to convict him. Yep. And uh, so that's a little creepy yeah um and surreal yeah very surreal because you're like it shows the picture of her yeah and you're like this knife killed this woman yep
There's old Sparky. Old Sparky. Old Sparky was used for just over 50 years in Texas state yeah. uh, executions. And that's the actual chair. Yeah. Uh, lots of folks died in that chair. Yeah. It's and, in, uh, actually in great condition for it as is. old as it is. And, and I had no idea until I read uh, part of the process. So uh, initially, they would jolt you with 1800 volts for 15 seconds for 15 seconds that's just to knock you out yeah. but then they had to turn down to 500 to keep the body from catching on fire or exploding <laughs> people exploded <laughs> that's messy that's very messy well then we turn it back down for a little bit and then they turn it back up yeah. and to keep them cooking it and turn it back down and then when the generator finally hummed itself to sleep <laughs> then the, the doc would come over and uh, pronounce whoever it was dead, dead. and i yeah. guess if they weren't dead they'd Hit him, Jolt hit him again. again. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But the other cool part is that uh, this is in like a little, um, in like a little this, nook here. Yeah. And all around the outside edges of this are um, pictures of victims. Yeah. Of people who were executed um, at, at Old Sparky. Mm -hmm. So it's cool to read those stories. Not cool that they were they were murdered, uh, mm -hmm. because most of them were murder. Yeah. Uh, some multiple murders. Um, but didn't give a lot of information or or credit to the murderers. Yeah. It really was telling the victims' stories, yeah. and then it would give the the name and the execution date of the, the prisoner, prisoner, though. But uh, it's just sad that so many people had to get murdered. They did it to themselves. Yeah, but old Sparky was retired in 1977. Yeah, so he was done killing folks before I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right after i was born but it is a cool piece of texas prison history it is. and it's, and it's cool, cool to actually see it in person yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well apparently there's a cemetery yes happy dance happy dance the joe bird cemetery where there's what there over three thousand unclaimed prisoners buried yeah yeah so guess where we're going next <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then chief santana who was a prisoner here yes hillsborough in Texas prison right across the street mm -hmm. killed himself in 1878 and in 1963 his remains were moved to Fort, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, Oklahoma which we will be in again we've been three before. or four weeks from now yeah so guess where else we're going we're gonna go spoiler alert <laughs> and go say hi to Santana yeah so it's cool we get to see the place yeah. where he was in prison the place where he committed suicide Sister. and now we'll go see where he's buried in a few weeks so yeah stick with Pretty us cool. <laughs> told you we were coming <laughs> Well, this is the uh, this is the prison cemetery in uh, Huntsville, and I guess all the prisoners that, that are unclaimed, that unclaimed, and die in the prison system here in Huntsville mm -hmm. uh, are buried out here. Yeah. Um, I think the earliest one back I saw was like 1800s. There's some over That's here, right. 1893. Yeah. Um, just really old. They go way, way back, and then back, way back over here. There are um, new some very plots. new ones, so yeah. we'll walk over there and check some of them out too. And then, of course, we got to see uh, Chief Santana's original burial, burial plot. Yeah. And um, like we said, he's already been moved over to uh, to Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Well, now we're in the new section. So these yeah. these prisoners have died within the last uh, six months. A lot. Six of them. months to a year. Um, I mean, the, the ground is still newly dug up. And these are all folks, so if you die in the prison system and your family wants you back, they'll, they, they can they claim, can claim you, you. And they can have you buried wherever because you've served your time. Yeah. Once you're dead, you've served your time and that's it. But if nobody all claims these your folks body out here are unclaimed. Unclaimed, which means either all their family is gone or they were just... It said on the sign, some couldn't afford to claim that's them. That's true. Because there's a fee attached to claiming them. But I bet you a lot of them are like... I don't even want him back. Yeah, yeah. He is just bad, <laughs> you know? So these yeah. are probably a lot of the worst of the worst folks who just nobody even wanted anything to do with anymore, even in death. Yeah. Crazy. And today we're at the Hearts Veteran Complex in... Um, Huntsville. Huntsville, Texas. <laughs> close to Conroe, close to the Thousand Trails. Yeah. About 30 minute drive. Yeah, not, not terrible. I have no idea what kind of uh, museum this is. I know it's a veteran's museum, <laughs> yeah. but they say that they are a little bit different in the way that they focus on individual service members stories as opposed to like overall campaigns yes or wars um so we'll we'll take you inside and, and see what it's all about Pretty good story.
Well, this is pretty cool. You don't see this very often at the uh, at museums and stuff, but this is actually the, the original Purple blood. Heart, and it says Merit <laughs> on it because the Purple Heart originally was not awarded for uh, being wounded in combat. It was awarded for uh, valor and merit. So uh, the back of uh, real Purple Heart still is inscribed with the word Merit, which is very cool, which um, speaks to the history of the Purple Heart. So very cool to see this. This motorcycle is a very cool piece of history. It was owned by Jay Kimbrough, who was Chief of Staff to Governor Perry, and uh, loved riding motorcycles, motorcycle enthusiasts, rode to a rally, and at this rally there were 17 Medal of Honor recipients. So Jay went to each one of them and asked them if they would autograph this motorcycle. So all 17 of those Medal of Honor recipients autographed this motorcycle and Jay donated it to the museum. So very cool. I don't know that I've seen anything ever that had that many Medal of Honor recipients included in one piece of history. Well, now we're here at the uh, Honor Cafe, Yes. recommended uh, by the uh, Hearts Museum, mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't gone in yet, but the place is packed. Um, it's it's jamming, so the food's got to be good. Got to. Um, and like we said, a lot of the stuff in here supposedly is is on loan from the Hearts Museum. Mm -hmm. A lot of the decor. So I'm interested to see. A lot of it's donated. Yeah. Personal items. And it's in Conroe, so it's really close to the Thousand Trails, only a couple minutes down the road. So very yeah. convenient. So if you're in the area, um, well, we'll go in first and then we'll let you know if we recommend the place. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Scott, what you got there? Alright, I have the fish tacos. I can't remember the exact name of them, but they are a fish taco, Baja fish taco, I believe. They look amazing. Fried version. They do look amazing. Can't wait to dig in. And you must be the I'm the plane. Yep. Yep. Allison, what you got over there? I got me a plain old burger. Plain <laughs> with old sauteed burger. sauteed onions. Nice. <laughs> looks yummy with the onions on it. Is there anything else I can I think we're good. No, I think we're good. Thank, Thank you. you. What you got there? Mine is even more boring. <laughs> <laughs> I got chicken sandwich, but just chicken. Just chicken. Just chicken and, and just the bun. Yeah. It's a and pretzel I, bun. Yeah. I I have pretzel I'm bun. jelly. <laughs> and I have the um, crispy chicken sandwich with the 
house fries. It's pretty good. Yes. What did you think about the Honor Cafe? Very good. Very good. Large portions. I, I, I'm hungry. I feel like I need to be rolled out of the place. I need to be popped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel better if somebody popped me. Food was amazing. Definitely got to come here if you're in the area. Um, we got to meet the owner, Chris. Yes, very cool guy. Very good guy. Awesome stories in here. We got to talk to some of the veterans who are like... Locals and uh, regulars. Yeah, so they come here all the time. Mm -hmm. um, just very cool stories and a lot of this stuff like we said was on loan from from the hearts uh, museum but a lot of the stuff is brought in by local veterans yeah uh pictures Donating memorabilia yeah uniforms whatever mm -hmm. and they put that up on the on the walls and stuff so the decor is very cool and it's very personal to the community which yeah. is very cool yes um and then chris hooked us up with some some desserts it, we were already full and we were like no we're good on desserts and he gave us desserts anyway so what did we get? We had uh, tres leches cake oh. and homemade cookies with powdered sugar. <laughs> oh my god. They're both great. Oh. It was awesome. And what's really cool is too is um, they, have, uh, they have the main dining area there uh, with different branches. All the tables have different themes on them with different branches of service or different military themed tabletops. It's funny. We had us army, Jarhead and Ginger <laughs> Marines eating on the Coast Guard table. Yeah. <laughs> So that was funny. And they do have like a little private dining room, which is yeah. cool. It's all decorated. So if you have a private Hold a function, yeah, you can do it there. Banquet or whatever. Yeah. So that's cool. And then um, they have a, a cool shop. We got some shirts. Yep. Yeah, and uh, they sell all kinds of stuff in there. Novelty military stuff, um, uh. shirts, hats, guns. Guns. <laughs> I'm going to buy a gun. I'm going to have lunch and buy a gun. Come <laughs> some on over. decorative military stuff. And then that's also cool because they have a library. Yeah. It's a little library, but it's like military, you know, books and history books and uh biographies from different historical figures and military figures and you and can just check them out yeah you can check you those just out give them your card and they let yeah. you have the book or you can just take it off the shelf and go read it while you're drinking your coffee <laughs> or whatever and then put it back yeah. it's there waiting for you the next yeah. time you come here whatever but if you're in conroe uh it's only a few minutes down the road from mm -hmm. from thousand trails uh so definitely check out the hearts museum come by here to the honor cafe Yep. You will not be disappointed in Does the food. Does not disappoint. Um, they're open seven to three, mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, they do dinner on Friday nights. Yeah, they're they starting just to do dinner to just do on Friday nights. Uh, limited menu, but um, great food. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to come back. Yeah. Well, that's it from Lake Conroe. We had an awesome time hanging yeah. out with you we guys. We did. We really did too. Man, what is it like four straight days <laughs> hanging out, going out, hanging out, eating, exploring. Yep. A couple drinks. One yes, or two, lots of bit. stories. <laughs> lots of stories. <laughs> Very fun. So um, if you want to check out Jarhead and Ginger's Journey, we'll leave a link down in the description mm -hmm. below. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets while we're out on the road, that stuff in the, is in the description of this video as well. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.